welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I'm going to be 32 weeks pregnant this Sunday, July 12th, depending when this video goes up. But I already have my hospital bags packed and this is for baby number two. So one thing that I learned is that you can never be ready too early. So that is off my mind, off my checklist, ready to go. And another tip that I learned is that I didn't need to bring my entire house with me. Now I know the things that are essential that I will need and the things that I won't need for my hospital stay. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I have in my hospital bag for myself and baby, please stay tuned and I will share that with you. Okay, let's jump right in because I feel like I have a decent amount of things, not a ton like I said, but just a decent amount. So one thing this time around is I'm just bringing a bag that I don't, like overly care about like I like this bag a lot but if something were to happen and I had to leave it or whatever it may be especially with the coronavirus still around I wouldn't be devastated it's not like you know a three thousand dollar Louis Vuitton or anything like that but I do like this bag just because it is spacious and it has the zipper across which I really appreciate um so I'm just gonna start from top to bottom showing you everything I have in here Right on top, I just have these Power Up Body Boosting Antioxidant Mixes. I don't know how it's gonna be when I get to the hospital, food-wise, if the cafeteria will be closed, if my husband can leave to get us snacks, if we can get something delivered. It's really dicey right now with the virus going on. He is the only person allowed there with me. Um, I'm so thankful that he's gonna be there but I am so sad that we can't share this experience with our family and for Mason to meet his new little brother. I am really, really upset about that. I don't even like talking about it really. So yeah, so I do have some snacks. I'm gonna add some more when it gets a little bit closer too. I just didn't wanna put things, you know, that might go bad within a few weeks, but these will be good. And they're trail mix, healthy. So that is good. I definitely recommend bringing a snack, especially if you are giving birth during the pandemic. Next up on top, because I'm gonna use these tonight, I have my carpal tunnel wrist brace. I talk about these in a different video and I have them linked. These are the most amazing things ever. They sound so uncomfortable to sleep with, but I absolutely love them. Mine have like a cushion, kind of like a beanie baby feel on the inside. And they help me sleep so much better. Last time I went to the hospital, my wrists were like balloons. I feel like I couldn't even like move my hands. It was awful. So I had to have like ice packs on my wrist this whole time. So I figure this time, maybe if I can get some rest in the hospital, hopefully these will help. If not, I'll be icing my wrists up again. So we have those. Um, so let's start with my stuff. I got these really cute packing cubes at Aldi. It was $6.99 for three. They normally are on Amazon too, but I think for like double or triple the price. Um, so I do love going to Aldi for little things like this. And it has two sides on this one. So like I said, I'm going pretty minimal for myself this time. Last time I wore the hospital dress like the entire time. I didn't put on any of my real clothes. I didn't put on any makeup. Just kind of when you're in that state, like it's the last thing you're thinking about, I feel like. But maybe we'll want to take a nice picture this time. I don't know. So this is my number one hospital item. If I can recommend anything to you expecting moms or anyone who knows anyone that's pregnant is a sleep mask. So ironically, a pajama set that I had last time came with the sleep mask and it just happened to be in my bag. I don't know, it's like somebody from above knew that I needed it. But the room that I was in was facing the sunlight. So at five in the morning, 5.30 in the morning in July, the sun came up, I was supposed to be resting, and voila, I was wide awake. There was no blinds in my room. It was just like a very thin, kind of like a green I guess but it was completely transparent the sun you know full-fledged in my room and it was the only time I could get some rest before delivering my son so this really really came in handy I'm thinking about getting a complete blackout one from Amazon to be honest they had one on there that was around like five or six dollars so this one's kind of thin but it really really helps so an eye mask is an absolute must for me Next up, this time I have a really pretty robe that my mom got me also from Aldi. I'm saving it for the hospital. 
It is like a white with a blue flower print and it's that really soft, like stretchy, kind of like jersey material. Last time I had a robe that was pretty uncomfortable. The print was, to be honest, hideous on it. It was not stretchy, so I didn't really wear it. But I saw that Aldi was having these ones for $12.99, so I sent my mom kind of on a wild goose chase to get those. So thank you, mom. I'm looking forward to wearing this one this time. It's not maternity, but it is big. So hopefully it'll fit around my belly and I can use it afterwards at home too. So I definitely recommend a robe. That was kind of like an essential for me. Oh, and also slippers. Um, so what I plan on doing is wearing slides to the hospital and kind of using them as slippers as well. Last time I just wore the hospital socks. It was totally fine. I don't want to bring like really nice shoes to the hospital to be honest because I'm going to be mad if I leave them there or if they just get icky and I can't bring them back during the corona. So those are going to be my quote slippers. Sorry, I'm so out of breath now. But I have just a black t-shirt from the Madewell brand. This was from Nordstrom a couple years ago. I actually wore this home when I had Mason. Something super comfortable. You don't want to wear really tight fitting clothes you don't know if you're gonna have a c-section or not last minute and to have something constricting on your belly might be uncomfortable just trust me get something loose comfortable so i have a black t-shirt i just brought an extra t-shirt as a backup again another soft kind of like loose fitting one this one's a lucky brand one so i just i recommend getting like loose fitting t-shirts something comfortable that feels almost like a pajama And then lastly, clothes wise, I told you I really didn't bring a lot for myself. Um, I just have this two pack of DKNY brush jersey pants with pockets so I can put my phone in there if I need to. Um, I picked these up at Costco. I will most likely wear the black pair just because you have a lot going on with your undergarments. You probably don't want to wear like really tight leggings. Just in my experience, like I was very bulky um, on the bottom half. So to have something loose um, just worked out really well for me. So I definitely recommend getting like a loose bottom that you're going to be comfortable in. That's going to stretch. That's going to accommodate all the things that you need. You know, if you've had a baby, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to get too graphic in case my viewers are like a younger audience or family members or whatnot. But yeah, just something really comfortable. And these are technically pajama pants, but the black ones, if I was to wear home to the hospital, would anyone really know if they're pajama pants or just stretchy black pants? Probably not, but yeah, I was really excited that I found those and they were actually on clearance. So that's what I have in my little cube for myself. I do have one more small cube for myself. Let me find it. This one will just have some like sports bras in it. I didn't put those in yet. And it also has just a pair of fuzzy socks with the little like grips at the bottom. I probably won't wear these. I got them for last time and I wore the hospital ones, but just in case I brought them again, you never know. And then another thing is an extra long charging cord. I'm sure we will be FaceTiming a lot this time around, taking a lot of pictures. Um, so I just want to make sure that my phone is charged at all times and it can reach the hospital bed from the outlet. So yeah, I made sure to put that in there. I got this off Amazon. I think it's a 10 foot cord too. So definitely don't forget your charging supplies. If you want to bring your laptop, your phone, your camera, all of that good stuff. Most likely just going to bring my phone. We have decent phones. So the pictures should come out pretty good on those. And like I said, we want to make sure that our families can at least see the baby when he's born, like a picture, a video, something, since they won't be allowed to wait there as of right now. And I unfortunately don't see it getting better and neither does my OB. So we're kind of out of luck with that one. Um, another recommendation, highly, highly recommend is just shower flip flops. I have these like really thick rubberized Vera Bradley ones, which I'll bring could always wear these home too if you need to, but shower flip flops are a must for me. Next is my toiletry bag. So 
definitely recommend bringing things you just don't care about for the most part like don't bring your most expensive you know foundation or your most expensive hair products you're just going to be in like a whirlwind situation where you might forget something there and honestly during a pandemic it's not really worth going back to get it in my opinion but i have a scrunchy hair tie just like a blue one that kind of matches the robe last time i had my hair kind of like blown out before i gave birth and what do you know i thought it was gonna look all cute for pictures but i ended up tying it right up um, for birth so at least i have a scrunchie this time i have a travel size deodorant i feel like your body kind of goes through like a lot of changes right after birth and your hormones are all out of whack so just something to keep you smelling fresh especially if you are able to have visitors um that, i guess that's one positive is if i don't have to look like absolute perfection or anything like that like literally no one's gonna see me but um last time i did have a lot of visitors so i wanted to smell good i didn't you know i wanted to be somewhat presentable <laughs> I have a Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This is really good in case you don't get the chance to shower there if you're in and out of the hospital in two days. Um, something like this will really save you and then you can just take that really nice first shower at home. Totally up to you. But I did shower at the hospital last time on my last day. But just in case I don't get to or whatever, at least I have that. I actually packed, these were just samples that I got in the mail a while ago some little packets of conditioners and shampoos. I didn't wanna bring like huge bottles with me. I didn't wanna, you know, bring all that. So these are great. You can just use them, toss them when you're done. So I recommend like really small travel size items or things you can toss afterwards because coming home and unpacking is just like the last thing you wanna do. Honestly, you just had a baby. You have the baby home. You're trying to get situated with life. I did bring a toothbrush this time and a toothpaste. They do provide one at the hospital. I can't remember what it was, what brand or anything like that. So I just brought one just so, you know, I can be comfortable with the toothpaste. Not that it really matters during that time. Um, so yeah, just in case I have that. Oh, I packed some more shampoos just in case my husband needs to use one too. Cause he won't be allowed to leave for anything. So I'm just making sure I have us both covered. I have a, what is this called? Smoothing shave cream sample that was also sent in the mail. So if I feel like I wanna shave, you know, before I go, I'm like one of those people that have to like shave daily or else I feel really gross. It's the weirdest thing, like I cannot go a day without it. I have a shower gel, this is the Body Shop. It is warm vanilla. So just having something that smells really good, you know, that first shower, just not necessarily pampering yourself you're in a hospital shower but just something to make you feel a little bit like fresh after that whole experience i also have a philosophy purity lotion kind of like a sample size travel size so you definitely need some kind of lotions and like chopsticks some moisturizers in the hospital it's really dry in there so i recommend bringing some lotion they might have some for you but just in case um make sure you have that i have a wet dry brush just like a mini travel size one i got on clearance at bed bath and beyond it was 75 percent off 5.99 so this covers both a comb and a brush and after your shower you can just brush your hair good to go i'm not going to bring a straightener or a blow dryer or anything like that i'll just either put my hair in a ponytail braid it no big deal last time i had a little clip so maybe i'll pack a clip too I brought another lotion just in case. This is the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Travel Size Lotion. So in case my husband needs it too, we have two of those. I tend to go through lotion pretty quickly. I have my razor just because, like I said, I need that every day just to feel myself. So I brought that. Um, next up are some kind of like makeup items. Again, not my like top-notch everyday routine but just a little bit just in case i didn't end up using any of it last time so i have the it cosmetics cc cream this is actually what i use but i have like a sample one in case one of the days there i want to put it on just for a picture again i probably won't but just in case you never know 
Um, I have an under eye concealer. This is the NYX HD Photogenic Studio Concealer in shade CW04. This is not what I use on the daily. I use um, Tarte Shape Tape. But again, I didn't want to bring that just in case I forget something or lose it or whatever. I don't want to be losing expensive products that I love. One mascara. This is like a sample size. It was like an Ulta freebie of Lancome. Another small one, just in case. A new chapstick. This is a sugar cookie scent. So definitely bring yourself a chapstick just to keep moisturized. Really, really recommend that. An additional hair tie in case you need like a bun, a braid. I have pretty long hair, so I'll probably want that out of the way. I have my old Anastasia contour kit in light to medium. I figure I can use this for eyeshadow and contour. This thing is pretty beat up. I didn't want to bring like my nice eyeshadow palettes that are newer, but I figure I can use this kind of like an all purpose face thing if I need to. Again, I probably won't though, but I have a Morphe eyebrow pencil. If anything, I'll probably just put on a little bit of concealer and eyebrow pencil and call it a day. So this one was relatively inexpensive. I think it was around like six or seven dollars. So again, I'm not going to bring my Anastasia like brow whiz or anything like that. Just this one will do. I have a Revlon Color Stay eyeliner. This is my tried and true eyeliner since I was probably 17 or 18 years old, so well over a decade ago. I hope I'm not aging myself. But yeah, I love this eyeliner and it'll just make me feel better. If I do end up putting makeup on, at least I have this. It's like my all time favorite. And then I just have two brushes. One's like an angled brush I could use for like the contour and the other is kind of like a fluffy brush, which I would use for shadow. They are by Eco Tools, Define Crease and Angled Foundation Brush, just in case. So yeah, that's what I have in my little like toiletry and makeup bag. It might seem like a lot, but these are things just to make me feel comfortable if I do want to take a nice picture or anything like that. We didn't get professional pictures last time, so I don't think we will this time. Next up is stuff for baby. So I have his name sign. I can't show you it just because it has his information on it already. I put that down. I have two options of swaddles for him when he's born. This is the Itsy Ritzy Cutie Cocoon. It's like a buffalo plaid who most likely will be born in the beginning of September. So kind of going into the fall season. And I'm a huge, huge pumpkin and pumpkin spice fanatic. So this would be so cute if I put like a little like felt pumpkin by his foot maybe and took the picture. I don't know. But it comes with a name tag too. So we got this from Bye Bye Baby. It was on sale. And we figured we could kind of pick which one he's going to wear when he comes. And then I have my third and final cube dedicated to him. They give you like wipes, diapers, formula, anything the baby really would need at the hospital. Same with you. They're going to give you all of your like um, toiletry supplies. That's not like extra things like this but you know like postpartum care they have all of that there for you at least in my hospital so I'm not going to be bringing anything like underwear I'm not going to be bringing you know like pads and things like that they have all that I just have the extra letters to his little name board so we can put like his date of birth on it we obviously don't know that yet we have his other like swaddle option it is copper pearl it's so cute it's got like milk and cookies on it and I've been craving chocolate chip cookies this entire pregnancy. So I thought this was like the absolute perfect hat and swaddle for him. Um, with Mason, we didn't really have any cute things like this to take a cute picture. So we thought this time around, you know, it'd be really fun to do. And since we will be sharing him, like his first appearance to be a picture to everyone, figured we'd make it really cute. Not that a newborn baby isn't cute in their hospital blanket anyways, but you know what I mean. Um, I have Mason's coming home outfit just in case we want to put him in the same one. So, so cute. Let me find it. So it's just like little bear socks. We have little bear booties from Carter's. They're just so tiny. So, so cute. 
I can't even picture Mason being this size like ever. So tiny. And then the little outfit that Mason wore home, there's like a little hat, a top knot hat with teeny tiny little pants that are striped that match it. So, so small. I feel like I won't remember how to like hold and change a baby that small to be honest. And it came with a little like sweatshirt with an elephant on it. So cute. So we brought that just in case. I brought him a Cloud Island pajama. They do give you a onesie in the hospital. You don't necessarily even have to bring all these extras, just maybe a going home outfit. But I'm bringing them just in case because last time I didn't really bring that many outfits and I kind of wish that I wish that I did. So I brought a top, another top knot hat, just the plain gray one. I brought a shirt that has our last name on it. I'm not gonna show that one. And then I just brought him this cute little pacifier clip, which has like little silicone beads on it and just a ma'am newborn binky. Mason didn't like the hospital ones, so he liked these, so I figured I'll bring it just in case we end up needing it. And that's really it for baby. Like I said, they have the diapers, they have the wipes, they have the formula. If you're using formula, if you're not using formula, I mean, obviously you have what you need. Um, you can always bring your pump to the hospital if you're using that, or they have ones there at the hospital for you too. Um, this time, I personally won't be using any of that. My last experience was kind of hectic, so I'm just going to do what I know and I feel is comfortable. So that is another tip. Do not let anybody pressure you into doing anything that you don't feel comfortable doing or you don't want to do. Um, so I'm gonna be very adamant about that this time and just let them know like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what's best for me and my baby. So let me just go about that. So yeah, keep that in mind too. Um, most of my nurses were great. Other nurses were just really pushy and you know, maybe that's just what they're told to do or that's how they felt, but I just kind of went along with it not knowing any better. And this time I know, you know, I can say what I wanna do. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then also one other thing I forgot to show, I got this off Amazon, but it is a postpartum belly wrap. I didn't use this last time, but it has three pieces basically that help like shrink your belly back to size, help with your posture. So I thought maybe I'd bring it, maybe we could try it, I don't know, but I definitely want to use it once I get home and just kind of take better care of myself because last time I didn't really take that great of care of myself and I was upset. And this time I just want to make sure that I feel my best. I will have my toddler at home, I'll have a newborn. So keeping mom healthy, happy, you know, in good spirits is definitely just going to make everything run smoother in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's what I have in my hospital bag. I hope it helped you guys out. I will probably bring like a pillow for my husband too. And that's really all I can think of. Oh, and a bath towel. If you want, bring your own bath towel or you could use the hospitals. I don't remember what I did last time. I think I used the hospitals just because I didn't want to bring so much of my own stuff there. And I might honestly do that again with the whole um, virus thing. The less I bring in there, the less I have to bring home. But yeah, and then don't forget to load up on your snacks, you know, entertainment if you wanna bring books, crossword puzzles, because it could take a long time for the baby to come. I was in the hospital for three days before mine came the last time, but this time I'm anticipating that's gonna be much quicker. I hope this helped you guys if you're packing your hospital bags. If I forgot anything, please let me know down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you guys will meet this baby in the next, you know, eight weeks or so. Bye.